Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and the truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Kota Zayan, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, with another lesson, with another prayer, and Lord willing, this prayer is edifying. Uh, so, I had received a, quest, a request from a brother to make a tutorial of how to make Hebrew lessons uh, and or to translate Hebrew lessons, uh, Hebrew prayers, you know, because uh, he himself, he wants to translate a couple of prayers, you know, starting with uh, Psalms 25 and 21, where it speaks about keeping your integrity no matter what, you know, no matter what happens to you. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what the process is for me to translate and make a prayer. And Lord willing, this video is edifying. And like Apostle Tahar says, I won't put this up raw, you know, so if I make mistakes, you know, bear with me. Okay, so going to Psalms. Psalms 25, verse 21. So in the Blue Letter Bible app, let me explain what I'm doing. In the Blue Letter Bible app, I go and then I copy paste that first and I put it in my Google Keep because that's what I use to make my Hebrew prayers, to make notes, to put my thoughts in. You know, if I see something, then I make notes. And later on, I'll make a video about it, you know, stuff like that. I'll make my Hebrew, my Hebrew notes are here also. Got the Shabbat, the Shabbat days, Hebrew, the characters. And these are the strong characters that change when you put it in the end of a word. You have the Ma, for example, don't look at this, don't look at the Mem, Nun, Tzadai, P or Kaf, because this is Yiddish. In the Lashon Kodach, it's Ma, Na, Taza, Pa, and Ka. Ma, Na, Taza, Pa, and Ka. So this is when it's used in a word or in front of a sentence. But it changes when it's in the back of a sentence. For example, um, Ahyam, you know, if you say Ahyam, then the M in the end, it turns into this. And this is a Na in the end, uh, Bachan, for example, then it turns into that. The N, normal N, turns into that. Taza turns into this. And the Pa turns into that. And then you have the Ka which looks like a C, turns into that, the last one. And these are the Hebrew characters. You have the, on the top, you have the Paleo-Hebrew characters. And beneath, you have the Assyrian Hebrew characters. And this is a, a trick that I use for myself to learn the Paleo Hebrew. If you look at this, you see the A, it looks like an A on its side. If you look at the Ba, it looks like a B turned backwards. If you look at the uh, Ga, it looks like a C. The Da, it looks like a D on its side. The Ha looks like a E. The F, uh, just like the Wa, looks like a F. The Za looks like a Z, kinda. The Ha looks like a H. Uh, let's see. The Ya looks like a, a, a Y. The K looks like a, a K laying down. The Ka looks like a K laying down. The L looks like the La looks like a L. The M, you see the small M in it. The N, you see a little small N in it. The Sa, which you can. Uh, you can refer, reference it like a, a X, 
the O. That's not an O. That's a. Let's see. Yeah, we shy. That's a, a I. Which looks like an O. The P. The Pa looks like a P. This is the Taza. The Qua looks like a Q. The R. The Ra looks like an R. The Sha looks like an S. And the Ta looks like a T. So not all of them really resemble the Greek alphabet, but certain ones of them do, like the, the Ma, the Na, the A, the Ba. You know, you get to really quickly recognize these letters. So that's a trick that I use. So what I did was I took the scripture and I copy pasted it here. And now I'm going to give it a title, Prayer for Integrity. And the next step that I, that I do is that I go in the Blue Letter Bible, go into the interlinear strong concordance, and then I take the Assyrian Hebrew, copy paste it for myself so that I don't, every time I have to switch back to the Blue Letter Bible, so I have it right there. And that's when I start translating it from the right to left. So it says, Ta, with the M, as we spoke about the M. That's here. You see, this is the Ma, but it, in the end of the that word you see, this character, which is a M, also. See, so thumb, and then I use a bracket. No, it's not a bracket. That's a something like an underscore. I can use an underscore, and then it's wa, ya, sha. Wayashar. And the next word is Ya, Taza, Ra, Wa, Na, Ya. And then the next word is Kaya. And then the other word is Kwa, Wa, Ya, Ta, Yaka. Because you have to, this is a, a tricky character, the last one, because sometimes it looks like a, a na, you might say. No, not a na. Let me see. It looks like a, a ra. Kind of, you see? Because it has that... Um, yeah, it has that part sticking out. But if you look at the Ra and the Ka here, you see this one is longer than the Ra. So that's how you quickly see that it's a, a Ka. And if you look at the word above, it says, For I wait on thee. And knowing Hebrew, kinda. After a while, you know it's 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 uh, pointing towards him, towards D. So D is Ka at the end of a word. So now, what you can also do for yourself to see if you have the correct words translated, you go underneath here. You see Tum, which is integrity. Luck, yeah. I'll click on that, yeah. So it says, Ya Tazar Wanaya. That's the word. That's this word. That's the first word they show here. But the root word is Nat Natazar. Natazar, which means to let. And the ya in the beginning makes it 
uh, let me, you know, ya is, is me in the beginning of, of the word, you know, so ya taza, ya tazar wa naya, and the naya in the end makes it pursuing to me, so what do I do? You can see what the root word is, the root word is na tazar, so you know that you have to, how should I say it? That's the root word. So everything that's before it or after it, that has a different, adds a different meaning to the word. So the next word is tam, and the next the word after that was wa, wa yashar, which is this, wa yashar, and the root word in that is yashar. So the wa before it means and, and then you have natazar, and then you have kaya, which is four, and the last word is kwa, kwawayat, yaka, and the root word of that is kwa, kwaha, kwawaha, you see, which means to wait. Because sometimes, let's see, this word, kwa wa yat yaka, it's not kwa wa yata, you know, because normally, here, you see, yata. So you have to take the ta away, the a away from the ta, if you understand. Because that's the root word. Let's go back. Click on that. The root word is kwa, kwa waha. But the ta, yaka, that adds uh, um, um, more depth to that word because Hebrew is a compound language. And if you add certain things in the beginning or in the end, then it makes it more of a it's like when you say, I am waiting for you, you know, but in Hebrew, the for you would be compounded together with the, the weight, as it says right here, you see. So going back. So what it is, the thumb, I go there and I see integrity, thumb is integrity. Wayashar is and uprightness. Actually, I could put it underneath. So, Tom is in the integrity and and uprightness and the next word would be preserve me kaya is for or because and the uh, Kwawayat Yaka is wait on the and the next thing that I do is that I go to the Paleo Hebrew keyboard that I have and then I do a translation of that also. So this is the ta ma tam and then wa ya. Wayashar Ya Taza Ya Taza Rao Wa 
Maya. And then Gaya. And after that, Kwa. Kwa. Yat. Yaka. So yeah, man. So basically that is the process that I go through when I make a prayer. And then I let it rest maybe a day or half a day. And after a while, I go back, check it again, you know, to see if I've made any mistakes. And then I make the video, look for some precepts, put the precepts underneath or before the video. But the brother has a couple of beautiful precepts and Lord willing, he is going to make his own video. And uh, yeah, I might double check what he what he did. But let me double check this for a minute. Tam integrity. Wa Yashar and uprightness. Ya Tazar. Ya Tazar Wa Naya. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because the root word. Ya Tazar. Ya Tazar Wa Naya. Root word is Na Tazar. Yeah, the na is taken away. Gone. Ya. Tazarawana ya. Ya tazarawar. Makes preserve me. The me in the end is uh, the naya. And kaya is for. Kwa wayat. Salakya. Kwa wayat yaka. Kwa waha. That's the, the word. And the yat yaka makes it on to. I wait on you. You see, so the ya here, that's the I, and the ka is wait on D. Okay, so for the completeness, let me just read the scripture again. This is Psalms 25, verse 21. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. So this is the prayer for integrity. And in the Lashwan Kodash, it's Tam, which is integrity. Wayashar, Wa is ant. And Yashar is uprightness, to be upright. Ya Tazarawa Naya. Ya Tazarawa is the preserve, as we just went into. That's uh, Natazar. And because it's a, it's a strong, yeah, how you say it, a strong word, a strong noun, then it, it changes when you make it pursuing to yourself. Because the Naya makes it pursuing to, to me. Kaya is for and Kwai. Kwawayat yaka, kwawaha is to wait, and the ya in the middle of that word is I wait, and the ka in the end makes it I wait on thee. Counsel, Lord willing, this tutorial was edifying, and if you have any questions, I would be glad to answer them. But until then, I want to say kal halal yamla, yahawe, ba'ashem, yawashai, ba'ashem, rekha, kodash, shalawam akyam.